Hey guys, I just wanted to do my review of Arrow, Season 5, Episodes 4 through 6. They are titled Penance, Human Target, and So it Begins, respectively. Now, the reason why it took me so long to upload these videos, um, besides reeling from the election, was also because of the fact that I'm just trying to rewatch these episodes and trying to figure out how the flashbacks relate to present day events. Because, we're, because I felt like from after episode 2, it went from... Even though, like, the better flashbacks from seasons 1 and 2 were very on the nose, you know, I figured stick to what works. And I feel like after it got back to the point where to season 4... It, it, the flashbacks got back to the state from season 4 where you weren't sure what they had to do with present day events. And it just felt like filler albeit not quite as bad as season four, but it just, it's like this weird place between like, okay, I kind of, maybe there's a parallel here, maybe there isn't, but, and also the fact that another negative I was having, tr I need to address um, with these new episodes, that even though they've been a, a step in the right direction from seasons three and four, um, it just felt like it was hard for me to get invested in the new t in the new members of Team Arrow besides Ragman. He's the one who's been the most fleshed out from the very beginning. Um, even though we know Mrs. Terrific has been there since Curtis has been there since last season, it just felt like the other members, him, Artemis, Wild Dog, they all just felt like they were just there. Um, it was gradually addressed as these episodes went on. So basically, season four, um, episode four, is basically Oliver deciding to break Diggle out of prison, even against the wishes of um, Diggle himself, Felicity, and the rest of Team Arrow, because they figure he's like, "What are you gonna do? He's gonna be a, he's gonna be a fugitive. You're not gonna you don't know how to clear his name." And even though the new team, the recruits decided to confront Oliver about it, he ended up being the crap out of all of them. And Oliver and you know, Ragman didn't wasn't left the team because Felicity told her told him of his involvement of the Haven Rock um, nuclear strike, and so it so so Oliver managed to break Diggle out using some kind of using you know um, stealth es you know using you know stealth espionage all that stuff, and apparently a spray that can burn through any material and they even had Lila coming in on a plane to like grab them by um a carabiner it was like like grapple them it's kind of like if you saw like dark in um dark night in which um uh the plane that was able to get um batman batman away from the chinese business lao is a chinese businessman's um henchman in hong kong Although quite not as thought out, and you didn't see like the thing, the anything like grab onto them. You saw they were got hooked in and abducted by this military plane. And Felicity and Ragman eventually came to an understanding where um, Ragman's R Ragman Rory said he couldn't look at Felicity without no without reliving the horrors of Haven Rock. And Felicity expressed that he could he couldn't. Rory reminded him of, like, the horrible things she had to do and that she has to live with for the rest of their lives. And they both kind of reached this understanding to not let Gil consume one, one another to the point where the recruits had to go stop Tobias Church without Oliver, who... Tobias Church had tricked the team into bringing a, a little crate into an evidence locker, but it was really a bomb, so they were able to break out and steal weapons and burn evidence. And so when they were, so when Tobias Trish tried to break one of his men out from custody, who was being interrogated by Adrian Church, the new DA, the recruits came to the rescue, but eventually ended in Curtis was stabbed in the back, literally by a knife, and Ragman and Wild Dog stayed behind to create a diversion and fight with Tobias Church, and ultimately lost. And um, Quentin showed showed up in a van coming to the rescue. Tell, and with and the whole team was forced to leave Wild Dog behind, which led to Wild Dog being brutally tortured by Tobias Church and revealing 
out, you know, Green Arrow's identity as Oliver Queen, to the point where he's like hired an assassin to go after him, and he was subse- and Oliver was subsequently shot. But you find out that because um, Oliver had Oliver successfully rescued Wild Dog, and he told Oliver what had happened. He and Dick, and then he subsequently told Diggle that they were able to get a. He was able to find somebody known as the Human Target to pose as Oliver, who not only managed to get um, Susan Williams' number, sweet and sweet talker into a date who's a reporter who's been trash talking Oliver Queen because he figured she she still sees him as a playboy that's and doesn't who doesn't have what it takes to be a good mayor and Oliver just says give me a month and I'll prove you wrong or human target says that and like he basically shows he basically shows up um at the arrow cave and like pulls off a mask like he like he does like whole like mission impossible kind of thing where and he basically explains how he has to get into the psychology of of the people he's impersonating in order to understand them but we don't really get much know a lot about human target i guess you're supposed to just know know him based on a short-lived tv series or i guess comic book background um which sucks but anyway even though Renee wants to, Wild Dog wants to quit because of what he did and outing Oliver, Diggle convinces him to stay on the team and convinces him to meditate in order to remember what Tobias Trish was talking about and what his master plan is. Is basically to run like a drug empire and fu- and you know, I guess um, traffic all these drugs through Star City out to these other three neighboring cities like Bloodhaven and. Hub City, and you have this huge criminal empire in which um, they basically that with the help of Human Target, who shoots the assassin that tried to kill Oliver, the team arrow is able to take out the men. Church is arrested, and but then he's but then his convoy is subsequently wiped out by Prometheus, who you know, after Tobias Church tells Prometheus Oliver's the Green Arrow, he to Prometheus kills him with a throwing star and begins to taunt Oliver by writing in fire. So it begins, he starts killing people whose names are like, I guess, anagrams or something like that for the people in the list, the book from season one in which um, Oliver's using to kill people who are corrupt um, individuals in Star City that Robert Queen had kept a record of. And new recruits are like pretty disgusted because they actually they never realize until Felicity tells them that the Green Arrow, the Arrow, and the Hood they were all one they were all Oliver, and they're kind of disgusted. He was playing judge, jury, and executioner, and kind of a serial killer. Guess, especially um, Artemis because because of the fact that you know Oliver is jumping down her back about trying to kill. Um, Roof Dark for to avenge his to avenge her family at the death of Damien Dark's hands, and she avenge and basically she eventually gets she's eventually able to get past this and help in the operation in terms of trying to track down Prometheus himself. Of course, in order to get evidence and in order to find a way to track him down. Felicity has to steal evidence and eventually disclose to her boyfriend, Billy, that she works with the Green Arrow, and he's surprisingly understanding about it. Who I'm pretty sure I think is Prometheus anyway, because I'll get to why later. Um, they eventually go to different locations to try to track down Prometheus, and he ends up showing up on a train where Artemis is, and he tries to kill the conductor. Um, Artemis and Prometheus get into a fight, Artemis cuts his arm, and then Oliver shows up with an explosive arrow trying to kill Prometheus, but he, but Prometheus is able to throw the explosive arrow onto the roof of the train, cause an explosion, and then disappear, and then he somehow, I don't know how, but watching the sequence, I don't know how he, the way it's shot, 
he somehow able to place a bomb on the train where the conductor was operating it and but anyways he uses Oliver's worse used a parachute arrow to get the conductor Artemis and himself to safety before the train blows up um and you know Artemis of course like forgives all forgives Oliver for like hold, for holding a grudge against it holding a grudge and the episode ends with Quentin, who never was waking up from a drunken stupor with the same cut on his arm from before, um, where Prometheus got got cut by Artemis, and he has one of the throwing stars from Prometheus, and they said the throwing stars were melted down from old arrows from the hood, and apparently he's and apparently he's a, it's suggested that he's a member of the Star City Police Department, which is why I think, you know, the the boyfriend, Felicity's boyfriend is probably um, Prometheus. Um, and again, going back to the flashbacks, it just seems like, you know, episodes four, four flashbacks were just like Oliver like getting himself arrested and getting to a prison in which he killed a guy to get information on Kovar. Episode five is just showed him in a bar trying to save a woman and human target even though Oliver didn't know it was him at the time saving him from being stabbed and then ep- and then episode 6 what in the flashbacks was him trying to use his playboy persona to open up a bar to lure out Kovar and place a bomb in the bar but of course he gets kit um, captured by um, Kovar and although he's probably going to be one of the I think with Dolph Lundgren, he does have a charm and a presence. I think he will at least be one of the better villains from the flashbacks. I'll give it. I'll give it that that much credit. Um, so, how do you guys feel about the flashbacks? How do you guys feel about um, the new team? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.